tips that I'd like to share with you on how I got comfortable with medication recommendation as a psychiatric mental health nurse practitioner student. My best friend of it all, my cheat sheet list of FDA approved medications. If you are attending Walden University, you can actually get this from either the NRNP classes or from this book. As you build your knowledge, you'll be able to confidently recommend medications appropriately. Making top three faves for the most popular diagnosis. Quick story, my preceptor actually gave me this as a pointer. So for example, my top three non-benzodiazepine anxiety PRN meds are propanolol, clonidine, not to be mistaken for clonopin, and hydroxyzine. Adjunct to this information, if you ask me the patho med class side effects, I can definitely explain this with no issues. Trial and error. If you are just meeting your patient for the very first time, always remember that you are not obligated to recommend a medication. Maybe you need more collateral from the parent, the spouse, guardian, etc., etc. Know that it is okay to let them know that you can get back to them or you need more time to figure out what would be the best fit for them. Remember, if this is an intake, which is, you know, a new patient, it takes about 30 to about 45 minutes to do a full assessment slash admission questions. And even after all that, you can't really paint a full picture. Expect that medication will have a different side effects for each individual. Think about it, 10 in all 500 milligrams may work for a headache for some, but definitely not for all. Don't stress too much when your assigned patient comes back and say, the meds didn't do anything. Aside from a regular education about the medication, honestly, I also let the patients know that it may take a few increase or decrease to find the right balance. Listening to your patient. I think the most important part of a medication recommendation, hear out your patients, what are they saying? Just because the book says it's okay, doesn't mean it's okay for the patients, right? However, please make sure that you have the evidence based to support your reasoning. I build my own treatment plan per patient. I used to have a hard time doing this, but I definitely got used to it. It used to be a couple of hours or more for me to formulate a plan, but now that I am in my third and going into my fourth practicum rotation, it probably takes me less than 30 minutes. It's the repetition and the consistency. Note, I say recommendations for a reason because I am not a prescriber at this time. I am under my preceptor who is very supportive. If you think this video is helpful, please consider subscribing. Listen, always stay positive. I'll see you in the next video. Paalam!